Have you ever wanted a product that would help you see the flow of air and cotton inside the pipes in your gin? If you had something like that, do you know where you might want to focus your attention? I'm Chris Jackson, your host for an Air Tools video that covers strategic use of this powerful product. Let's get started. Knowing the various levels of suction and positive pressure in a network of air pipes used for conveying cotton can help the operator detect developing chokes or air leaks before they become serious. In order to fully enjoy this benefit, we need to give thought as to where each probe should be located. In some situations, simply knowing the pressure value at a single probe tells a complete story. For instance, there is a practical range for cyclone inlet pressure. If a probe at the inlet of the cyclone registers a value significantly above this range, there is probably a choked cyclone. In other situations, a pressure value makes more sense when it is compared to a pressure value at another location in the same air system. For instance, the difference in pressure between two points is sometimes referred to as pressure drop. Pressure drop can be thought of as a value to describe the resistance to airflow between two points. This value can change substantially when a cotton gin is idling and when cotton is flowing in the pipes. Depending on the circumstances, static pressure can also be used to indicate air leaks in a system. For instance, if an access door between two sensing points is left open or unsecured, the rush of free air may increase the suction value of one probe and decrease the suction value measured at the other probe. Leaks of this type create chokes and waste drying fuel, so they are worth targeting in placement strategies. Now that we know what we are looking for, let's take a look at some example placement strategies. The example gin we will examine uses a hot box to pick up cotton at the module feeder and take the cotton directly to the drying and pre-cleaning system. Measuring suction at the hot box heater pipe can give us an indicator of how much air is leaking into the hot box. If static pressure falls in this pipe, excessive hot box leakage may be the cause. Measuring suction at the hot box cotton outlet offers several potential benefits. Suction too high can indicate a choke in the hot box. Suction too low can indicate a choke or air leak upstream in the system unrelated to the hot box. A comparison to the pressure in the hot box heater pipe yields pressure drop across the hot box, the best indicator of hot box performance. Air tools can be configured to provide an alarm indication for all three of these conditions. Moving further along in our example gin, the principles just applied to the hot box may also be applied to any blow box with a vacuum dropper. Setting alarm conditions for a pressure drop at a location like this can give you an excellent indication of when the flights of the vacuum need attention. It can also be a helpful tool when adjusting the feed rate with wet cotton that tends to resist flow and choke. Cotton dryers in a gin are an excellent place to monitor pressure. The most useful measurement is normally checking the pressure drop across the dryer. Pressure drop measured across a dryer when air and cotton is flowing can be significantly different than when there is only air. Abnormally high pressure drop across a dryer during operation can indicate problems that range from simple things like inappropriate transitions in the piping system to more serious issues like an undersized system being used beyond its design capacity. Air Tools provides an easy window to observe just what is happening and calculate strategies to eliminate the resistance to flow. Inclined cleaners are a good candidate for Air Tools monitoring. Access doors are frequently left open, gaskets get torn, and structural leaks on older cleaners are common. Cold air leakage into inclined cleaners can waste drying fuel and hurt grade. 
Some gin stands benefit from monitoring air pressure on the duct going to the lint cleaners. The optimum pressure range here can be both low and sensitive, typically between 0.1 and 0.5 inches water column in the target range. As air pressure begins dropping to a problem level at a monitored gin stand, both a warning alarm and a lower cutout alarm level can be set to avoid a fire or choke. You don't need to go farther than your nearest air quality representative to understand the importance of monitoring pressure on air filtration cyclones at a cotton gin. A natural location for monitoring static pressure on a cyclone is at the inlet to the cyclone. Besides playing the role of a responsible neighbor, there are gin production issues at stake as well. If cyclone pressure rises above a certain limit, it frequently indicates a choked cyclone. This, in turn, is a common cause of low airflow in the gin's drying and pre-cleaning system, which can directly affect production, energy efficiency, and grade. Air tools can be programmed with two settings, one for idle and one for operation. This feature can be used strategically to let you know you have an air problem from the moment fans are first turned on in the system. Think of air tools like air radar, capable of seeing production threats you would never know are heading your direction. Let's take stock of the advantages you gain with a well thought air tool strategy in place at your cotton gin. An early warning system for air leaks and open access doors before cotton ever enters the system. An online warning system to protect against chokes while you gin. Increased air quality and cyclone monitoring. A maintenance monitor alerting you to worn vacuums, missing gaskets, and shaft seal problems. An optimization system for gin stand and lint cleaner air. And drying system energy savings by reducing cold air leaks. Thanks for joining me for this strategic look at air tools. Speaking for all of us at Sam Jackson, we hope you enjoy using this product as much as our team has enjoyed developing it for you.